Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be going over some of my personal most cherished tweaks that I do use to get uh, Windows 10 performance uh, for my mouse uh, feeling absolutely perfect and premium, smooth, responsive, all that good stuff. So uh, no more delays. Let's just get to it because uh, I think there's some very, very useful tweaks here that are very, very simple to apply. And I think that uh, not a whole lot of people know about it. Not a whole lot of people use it. And uh, yeah, let's let's spread the love and get into it. So our first tweak is not going to be in Windows and it doesn't have to do with our mouse. It is going to be in your system's BIOS. And what we're going to do in the BIOS is we're going to turn off hyper threading or what's known as hyper threading for Intel users. If you're on an AMD, if you're on an AMD PC, it's known as SMT. And we're going to turn that off unless you have you do a lot of productivity work on your main PC that you also game on. If you do, keep it on. You probably have a beefy processor with many cores and many threads. You should be okay. However, if the one thing that you use your PC for and what you push it the hardest with is gaming, then I would absolutely recommend turning this off because most games don't make use of threads. Um, they're not optimized for it. And turning off hyper-threading will uh, clear up some CPU headroom for you. And as it turns out, we're going to need that little bit of headroom when we apply some of the tweaks later in this guide. Okay, so now we are going to disable synthetic timers in Windows 10 and the high precision event timer, both of which add uh, their own uh, sorts of input latency. Obviously, you can think of the high precision event timer as adding an extra layer of latency and the synthetic timers adding latency, uh, stutters, jitteriness, because uh, the timer resolutions will be out of sync with each other. So uh, let's let's disable synthetic timers and let's get rid of the high precision event timer. Okay, so let's do Windows key R, type in CMD. We're gonna type in BCD edit, forward slash set, use platform tick, and yes. And what this is gonna do is it's going to sync our timers across uh, across all of Windows. We, we want everything to be in sync with the same timer resolution. Okay, once that's done, exit out of the command prompt and reboot your system, because we are not done yet. Okay, so now that we've rebooted, let's go back into the command prompt and let's disable the high precision event timer once and for all. And to do that, we go back in and let's type in uh, BCD edit forward slash delete value space use platform clock press enter and this is the correct way to disable the high precision event timer in your os it's done you press enter exit out of the command prompt and reboot your system okay so now that that is done we are going to move on to installing the intelligent standby list cleaner which is a very nifty little program that i love to use and i keep it it starts with my os uh, whenever i boot up and what this is the intelligent standby list cleaner is going to allow us to do is uh, three things it's going to allow us to purge the standby list uh, basically clear our ram of excess information that is unnecessary it's going to allow us to uh, track the timer resolution of our system to ensure that it is synced at 0.5 milliseconds. And it is going to allow us to mess with the polling rate of our RAM. And we can uh, lower the uh, polling rate timing. You don't want to higher. Higher is the mouse polling rate. This is the uh, inten intelligent standby list cleaner uh, polling rate that you want to be on a lower timer, meaning that it's going, you're your processor will ping your RAM more often, giving you a more accurate reading of your mouse's inputs. And we want that as low as possible. I am currently on a 5800X3D and I'm able to run it uh, stable at 250 milliseconds. Uh, most systems are going to be able to run it stable at 500 milliseconds, uh, but just for reference, uh, my, my system before I upgraded to my 5800X3D 5, a few months ago, I was running 9900K for four years. And it actually, it, it really wasn't good below 1000 milliseconds. So that's what I used. Um, but I think for most systems, it'll that you should be able to do 500 milliseconds, no problem. Uh, my CPU is able to do 250. Okay, so now we're just going to be making a couple more tweaks in the registry editor. Uh, if you're not comfortable doing that, just 
create a restore point before going into your Redditor and changing any of the settings. Um, when you're ready, let's go into the registry editor and type it. You can see uh, down in the in the description, I will type in, I'll add the paths. And also we're going to be referring to Calypto's latency guide, which is also linked down below in the description. So let's going to do, let's, let's go into the registry editor, type in H key, local machine, system, current control set 001, control, and priority control. Now, if you haven't messed with this before, it you might not see it. That's fine. All you have to do is go into the priority control folder, right click, new, and create a D word 32 bit value. And name that D word 32 bit value, win 32, priority separation. And let's go in and what the, the setting for this uh, referencing Calypto's guide that I believe is best and what I use is a decimal value of 22. And what this provides for is a long variable 3x foreground boost. And if that doesn't mean anything to you, you can read the description in Calypto's latency guide. He goes through it. But I believe that I have tried a few of the values on here and this is the one that I've gotten the best result for. Okay, so our last and final tweak in the registry editor and for this guide will be reducing the mouse data queue size to get uh, faster, more accurate results, uh, similar to lowering the uh, millisecond timing in the independent standby list cleaner. So what we're going to do to apply this tweak is back in the uh, registry editor, let's go H key, local machine, system, current control set, services, MOU class. Go to parameters. And in this folder, you may or may not have mouse data queue size. If you don't have it, again, just like in the, uh, in the priority control folder, you can create the, uh, the D word. And we're going to, so you just right click new D word, 32 bit value. And here, this is again, this is another, uh, system dependent setting. You want it to be uh, lower is is better. Uh, I'm, I am using hexadecimal value of 10 on my system because it's pretty solid CPU, 5800 X3D. Uh, your mileage may vary here. Um, I did not tweak. I didn't get a chance to tweak this setting on my older i9, um, but I would say that uh, 16 is a pretty uh, standard lower value that that should be stable on most on most systems. If you can go lower than that, that's great. Um, Again, for me, on my system, I like a value of 10. I hope this helps, guys. Please let me know your comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, who knows when the next video is. But if this helps, subscribe, like, see you.